Hello there, my friends. Tomorrow, the UConn men's basketball team will look to build off its most complete win of the year when the Huskies host Auburn. The UConn big men played a large part in Connecticut's latest win. Senior Kenton Facey had a career-high 20 points. It was a real confidence boost for a guy who has struggled since losing his dad over the summer. I mean, the good thing is I had a great dream the other day. I saw him and we was uh, smiling and laughing. And I hugged him and uh, I woke up feeling, feeling happy. I was just in a great mood all week because I had that dream. Kenton Facey's dad never got a chance to see his son play basketball, not in college or even back home in Jamaica. When I still first started in Jamaica, he would make sure that I would go to, to the camps and everything. He would drop me off and he always had to work. That, that, that part of it is the only thing that I really regret, that him not having to see me play a game ever. Facey lost his dad to cardiovascular disease. What his son did last time on the floor against North Florida would have put a smile on his face. It certainly gave Facey a shot of confidence. For me to, to keep that, I just need to come out in the games, keep being aggressive, and continue to work on, uh, on my move. You know, he's just playing with a clear mind. You know, I think he's in his best place ever, you know, mentally. You know, losing your dad and things like that can take you you know, kind of away from basketball and kind of, you know, depressed a little bit, but he bounced back. We need him, we need him to be aggressive the way, that, the way that he's playing. You know, he's helping us. He's helping us win games. A latecomer to basketball, Facey didn't start playing until he was 15. Now a senior at Connecticut, the 6'10 forward has spent years finding his role with the Huskies. It was, it was tough. I had to wait my turn and just keep working. And I feel like if you stick with that and just work through the hard times, it, it, it might turn around for you. And I'm still trying to stay as positive as I can with every, all the negative stuff that happened in my life. Off the court, on the court, I'm just proud of myself for sticking with the process.